everyone! I am excited that today we are going to discuss fall beauty and I think that's one of my favorite parts about fall and I guess really any season changing is that it forces you to switch it up a little bit, um, mix it up, it gives you an opportunity to try something new and so specifically for beauty that's what we're going to talk about today. And so you can tell I have bare lips right now. So that's where we're gonna start. And really that's the main focus of today's video. I feel like lips are sort of like a bold lip for fall. In a fall, like it's dark, some kind of dark hue is always like a good, um, a good option. It's always a classic um, look, even if you're not into being super trendy or wanting to embrace trends too much. But um, that is something that is in for fall this year is really, really, we saw really, really dark, even black lipstick um, on Kendall Jenner, I think, um, for the fall shows that happened last spring. Um, and so now fall is finally here. So we are going to go ahead and just um, embrace that trend. So um, anytime you're gonna do like anything with a serious lip color, you wanna prep your lip with some kind of balm. Um, just like a little, nothing too sticky. Um, I'm gonna use Burt's Bees Wax. Um, I just like it, I like that it's tingling. I am using MAC Night Moth. Um, this is like, they probably have something darker, but this is pretty much as dark as it gets. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this so that you can see. All right, so that's a good foundation. You can see that I have lined all the way around. Film in pretty good and and you're done with that stuff. So the reason we line our lips is because it helps with um, just like saturation of color and also to like it will keep your lipstick from bleeding too much. Especially if you're gonna do layers with like a lip gloss on top of that, it can bleed and that nobody wants to see that. Bleeding is like when it starts coming outside of your lips. Nobody likes that, it's not cute. So um, so that is um, the next step. And then we're just gonna finish it off with um, this really, really dark shade. Um, it is called Tribalist. This is actually from a, a collection, a special edition collection from me a few years ago from MAC. Um, but they have a really similar color called, called Desire. Um, that's not quite as, it's like a little bit more brown, but that would be a good other option for you. This formula has a little bit of purple in it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with that. Yeah. So as you can see, here are my dark lips for fall. These are like super, super on trend. Um, very like, yeah, like I said, Kendall Jenner was literally wearing like black lipstick. So the darker the better this fall. All right, so I'm back here. I, took off the super dark look that we just showed and I'm gonna prep again. Little chapstick. For the liner, we are gonna use, again, MAC Burgundy is the name of the liner. And I just really, really like this, um, this liner. It's a great fall liner if you don't have a lip liner. This is a good place to start. Um, so we're gonna line our lips with Burgundy. Um, so this is Burgundy. And then, what I'm gonna uh, layer it with, this is called D for Danger. Um, I always love, who doesn't love a good name for your for your nail polish or your beauty product, your lipstick? Anyways, D for Danger by MAC. And I'm gonna layer that over the burgundy lip liner that we just did. Ooh, now the other thing that's really cool for for fall lips, um, especially this season, is layering. Gloss is coming back, you guys. So excited about that. Um, it was kind of, you know, people were doing matte lips and stains, and those are definitely, you know, still a great option. But uh, the gloss is making a comeback. So that is a great way to, again, you could layer over this or wear it on its own, but this is. Um, by It Beauty, and this is called Wine Flush, I believe. I can never, Wineberry Flush. 
Um, so this, quickly layer. And there you go. Now you're super, super on trend with your bold lip and your gloss just takes it to the next level. Add some great dimensions and great moisture. And you're gonna be really glad that you had that lip liner underneath because when you eat, when you drink, um, and you know, the gloss and the lipstick maybe start to wear off. So lip liner is a great foundation. It's underneath there. Lip color for fall, bold. The darker the better, really. Um, I love a great bold lip, so I would wear this during the day, but again, you can always just reserve it for night if you wanna use it to you know, punch up your look a little bit.